I just got sent one of the strangest videos I've ever seen in my entire life. My friend Charles sent this with literally no context, and I started dying the moment I watched it, so I realized we need to experience this together. So I asked ChatGPT to write me a story about a cellist called Harley Eblen, who opens a music studio called Hollywood, and then it would ask me questions beforehand to help me construct the story and establish Harley's backstory. I also said it should be in the style of a mockumentary. Uh, That kind of plays a part of the end. But here's the story. Once upon a time, in the sunny islands of Hawaii, a young boy named Harley Eblen stumbled upon the enchanting sound of the cello. At the tender age of nine, the melodious tones of the instrument touched his soul and left an indelible mark. It was a moment that broke something within him, igniting a passion for music that would shape his entire life. However, Harley faced a peculiar challenge on his musical journey. In a land of ukuleles and guitars, he found himself as the sole cellist for miles. He watched in envy as the cool kids with guitars stole the limelight and gigs, leaving him yearning for an opportunity to reinvent himself and dominate the music scene. Determined to pursue his dreams, Harley set his sights on a new chapter in his life. He left Hawaii behind and ventured to the bustling city lights, seeking recognition as a talented cellist. And recognition he gained, but not through conventional means. Harley's striking features, including his chiseled chin and intensely strong jawline, became his secret weapons, capturing the attention of audiences far and wide. After years of touring and being a sought-after session player, Harley decided it was time to establish his own music studio, a sanctuary for all things cello. Teaming up with his quirky friend Charles, who came up with the name Harleywood during a hilarious Zoom call with a producer named Kara, Harley set out to make his mark. Harleywood quickly became a haven for cellists and music enthusiasts alike. The studio's, pre- the studio's presence revitalised the local community, injecting commerce and attracting music lovers from far and wide. The income generated from Harleywood even subsidised the costs of the entire town, making it a thriving hub of creativity. Although Harley initially focused on his own musical dominance, there came a time when he realised the value of sharing his knowledge and experience. As he entered his later years, he began mentoring and nurturing aspiring cellists, ensuring that the legacy of the cello would continue to flourish long after he retired from the stage. One of the highlights of the year was Harley's annual Christmas concert at Harleywood. While the attendees delighted in the festive atmosphere, they couldn't help but chuckle at Harley's tendency to rename beloved Christmas classics with his own name, from The Harley and the Ivy to Have a Harley Jolly Christmas. His playful, ex- his playful eccentricity always left the audience entertained and slightly bewildered. To maintain a balance between his own musical career and running the studio, Harley enlisted a group of assistants, affectionately calling them his elves. They diligently managed the day-to-day operations, allowing Harley to focus on his creative endeavours. However, there was an air of mystery whenever Harley took time off to attend to his cat, leaving everyone curious about the true nature of his feline-related activities. As the mockumentary unfolds, the underlying theme emerges, the quest for legendary status. Harley's unwavering determination to establish himself as a true icon of the cello world drives him forward. His music, his studio, and his enigmatic personality intertwine to create a captivating story, blending humour, passion, and the eternal pursuit of greatness. And so, the legend of Harley Eblen and Harleywood continues to grow, captivating the hearts and imaginations of those who encounter this extraordinary cellist in the vibrant world of music. What? Oh my god, what did I just watch?